Hang on, can I just, can I just say time. one thing, right? <laughs> one of the things that drives me nuts about this place is what goes on in there <laughs> and what goes on in here. So how about one at a time? Let's take, right, let's go, Dave. Senator, did you know that Senator Milne was going to stand aside today? How does a party come to a unanimous decision when <clears throat> you've got so little time? And Senator Milne, did you ha express a preference at all about who should succeed you? Yeah. Oh, look, I'm happy to start. <clears throat> um, I'm not going to go over who said what to whom, who voted in what way, what discussions were had. I'm just not going to do that. I'm not going to talk about the internal discussions. I, I'm not going to tell you um, what we went on internally. I, I, as I said, I'm not going to tell you about the internal discussions. What I'm going to say is there was a unanimous vote of the party room. You only need to look at what goes on in other parties to see we handled the transition in exactly the same way as we did last time. And what we showed is this is how you do things maturely. You have a transition from one leader to another. Um, you ensure that uh, all members of the party room are given a vote and they've expressed their unanimous support for me as leader. So, um, you know, I'm grateful for that support and, uh, and I'm going to do my best to make sure that, you know, the faith they put in me is, is repaid. Richard, when when did you Senator decide Nick to McKinnon. stand down as leader and, and when did you, did you, did you tell any of your colleagues in advance of this morning? I uh, have been considering this for some time. Clearly, if, um, if when you're facing re-election, you have to face the voters and you have to tell them what you're going to do. The more I got to think about 2016, it's I have never lied to the voters of Tasmania and I didn't intend to start now. And that means that if I stood up and said, I intend to recontest for the Senate, you're undertaking to people that you will stay six years or at least a good part of that six years. Uh, the fact of the matter is, um, I'll be 62 this year. And I decided that uh, really, uh, there needs to be generational change, uh, both in Tasmania and in terms of the Australian Greens leadership, and that it's either go now and let a party uh, build itself into a good fighting position into the next election, or stay until after the next election and contest that election and make that promise. In terms of um, discussions, uh, I'm not going to go into discussions I've had with, with uh, colleagues, but of course everybody is aware that the election is coming up and they also uh, knew that I'd have to make a decision about uh, whether I stood again or not, so that's something that uh, I'm not privy to discussions that they may have had, but people obviously can see that that's uh, as they did with Peter Bob. Did you express your intention to stand down to Senators Di Natale, Waters and Ludlam before you told the rest of the party and if so did you indicate that you would like them to stand as a triumvirate as it were? Look I'm not going to go into the discussions that go on in political parties. The main thing is that we came to uh, the party room today, all of us. We have a process that uh, the Australian Greens have looked at and just as a matter of uh, comment there, we've had a constitutional review in the last year which looked at the issue of how leaders should be elected in the party. Uh, the current process is the one that was endorsed Senator. and that is, and that is um, the process that's uh, gone underway. The, the, the real legacy um, of a leader, in my view, is being able to enable the people that you are leading as a collegiate team to be able to lead in your stead and that is exactly what's happening. Senator Mill, Senator Some of the questions today have been about whether any of the candidates knew in advance of your intention. So could I put the question to you this way? Did any candidates know in advance? Did any candidates have an inside running in today's uh, leadership contest? Uh, look, I'm not going to go into any discussions that um, have been had because that's not how the Greens work. We're basically a collegiate, we're a collegiate uh, group and we followed the party room rules exactly as uh, we did last time. And, and just uh, told the same thing, which is that Senator Waters, Senator Di Natale and Senator Ludlam knew ahead of time and to quote a Greens member who contacted me, this was done to shaft Adam Ban and stop him being leader. So can't you put Look, this to rest today? You you will always have people out there saying whatever is comes comes into their mind. The fact is, I'm not going to talk about um, the the last three years in terms of discussions that have been had. What I am talking about today is how proud I am of the entire team, and how proud I am that Richard is the new leader, and I think he's going to do a great job. You won't go into discussions with the other party members that you've had today, but as a number of us seem to understand it, there was 
uh, some disquiet in the party room about that the fact that this ballot happened so quickly after you announced your resignation and that members of the party that aren't elected representatives didn't have a chance to have their say or even get their voices to the members of the elected party room. Uh, can you say whether or not there was um, disquiet in the party room? And uh, Senator Di Natale, do you think that the Greens should go to a process of rank and file ballots like the Labor Party has done? Um, I'm, I'm happy to answer. We, we had that discussion with the membership. We actually we, we, fl we thrashed that out last year. Yeah. Um, we had a we, had, we brought all our membership on board um, through our uh, national council. Uh, we had a discussion about um, whether we should uh, persist with the way we do things now. Um, and the view of the membership, as expressed through national council, was that we should. And so that was that decision. And in terms of the process, it was exactly what happened last time with Bob and Christine. No, no different. Hours no, di no, 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 that's exactly what happened last time. It it's exactly hours. according to who? According to who? Mm -hmm. Look, I, I mean, you that. make the claim. I mean, so, yeah, so, you know. So, anyway, so what? So what? So, what, so no, yeah. We'll, we'll move on. But it's exactly what we did last time. I suspect. Look, someone may have been disappointed with the outcome. Surprise, surprise, that's politics, right? Someone may have been disappointed with the outcome. We did exactly what we did last time, was and there wasn't a skerrick of, of concern about it last time. Um, you know, it's, it is a huge honour to be elected unanimously by my party colleagues. It's a huge honour. Um, it's, it's, it's a great thing to see someone who uh, resigns on their own terms, uh, you know, uh, Basically, when they think the time's right, and you know, I want to acknowledge Christine's decision there. Um, and we had a membership ballot of our party room members, uh, and I was elected unopposed. So, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy. You know, we can keep going. Senator, how will the co-leadership positions work for the deputy positions? And with three of you in leadership positions out of the eleven, is that too many leaders in such a small party room? Um, they'll work really well. They'll work really well. You know, I think, I think we, it's, it was a great proposition. Um, uh, Larissa and Scott came up with the proposition, they put it to party room, and we all thought it was a good idea. So, so Senator, you just with your family, and aren't they, do you think they're ready for this, for you being a leader? Um, yes, I did. I'd be crazy if I didn't. I had a long chat with my partner, Lucy, and, and um, the impact it's going to have on my life. Does that mean you knew beforehand, then, before Senator Milne announced her resignation? Uh, here's a news flash. Here's a news flash. We're a year and a half away from an election and uh, there's a chance that the leader might step down. I was talking to Lucy about this six months ago because, it, you know, I might not be from a political background, but I'm smart enough to know when something could happen. So we had it. We had it. So we so we had a chat. We had a chat. Um, I would not be doing this if I didn't have her full support, and not just her support, she's encouraged me to do it, because she cares about the same things I do. Have you had okay, thank you very much, everyone. We're going to go and spend some time with my family.